Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's Flash. God bless you and God bless you for another day. So, uh, oh, how about, hold on, uh, I'm just gonna go do a little video here about, um, let's make sure I can see my uh, TV here. I'm gonna pause the music for a second, we got that tank going. But, uh, let me get my mouse. Um, <laughs> this video of, uh, I told you I was gonna follow up. Hold on. This tank is on point. But, yeah. I told you I was gonna follow up with, uh, the video about the, uh, about the gentleman, hmm. didn't call him that, that was left temporarily for an extended period of time. Yeah. But yeah, so this guy here, you guys can see good, yeah, so this guy here was uh, apparently left, I don't know for how long, they said an hour, hour and a half. By his date. You can see her coat here. <laughs> and her her drink here. <laughs> so I just want to say that when I get to the next video, I'll talk more about it because the next video is a lot longer. But this is was entertainment for us. This was ridiculous. But hey, here's the next one. Let me uh, just keep it up real quick. Part two. Like I said, a lot longer. Okay, so put this down. Here's what happens. Bam. Apparently, she decides to come back. Wow. She shows back up. Okay. Now she shows back up. I don't know, apologizing and. I don't know what she could possibly say or have to say after an hour. And that is her dad. That's her dad. I don't know what the situation is, but we can only guess that she left for an extended period of time, called her pops to possibly come to have to pick her up. I don't know what the scenario is, but obviously, you know, he picked her up and, um, you know, date or, you know, I, I can't even fathom to begin because I've never seen scenarios like this. I've never been on a blind date. Chances are I've never I'll never go on a blind date. I mean, I think it's too much technology nowadays for me to have to go on a blind date and not know what the girl looks like beforehand. But that's not the point. The point is that this is this was entertainment and hilarious. But how much of a douche do you feel like after this night? Like I don't know what this guy did or what he said but you have got to be crawling into all types of creep categories after this I, I mean this is hilarious <clears throat> but eventually like I said I'm gonna speed this up I don't want y'all to sit through this whole nonsense of them just talking but you know like, they talk for a little bit longer and I don't know about what but eventually I guess he uh, coerced coerces her father into letting him take her back home. I don't even see what the point is at this uh, junction, but I guess so he doesn't feel like a total loser, but dang, newsflash, you are a total loser. Not for going on a blind date, but just for being that guy that gets left sitting there for an hour. Yeah, that makes you a loser. 
<laughs> as if the blind date part wasn't bad enough. Yeah. Never leave your house again, ever. Go do something super gay at home by yourself. He probably cried himself to sleep that night and masturbated to the picture that he pro she probably sent of him herself. <laughs> too much? Nah, not too much. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I this is this video was entertaining. I don't know what these people could be having to laugh about, but these are probably very uncomfortable laughs, I'm sure. But yeah, let me kick the music back on the tank. Tank is the truth, by the way. So anyway. Um <laughs> So I'm really not sure. So I'm really not sure where to go with that. I mean, <laughs> oh man, you know, I usually don't wear my hat indoors, but uh, I'll make an exception for the, kid, for the purpose of the video. And um, yeah, but wow, seriously? Now we're doing things now like <laughs> like I said I've I've never been on a blind date the chances are I'll never go on one but how embarrassing is that for you you know as a man to have to uh, suffer through that I don't know um, but for me, looking, it's entertaining. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just is. What do you want me to say? It's not funny? It's funny. It's very funny. <sighs> but yeah. Walk the path of the righteous, God will bless you. Trust in Him. Trust in the Lord. No, I'm not a preacher now. No, you won't find me listening to nothing but gospel music. No, I'm not a born again virgin. And no, I've just found that if you trust in, if you trust in the path, you'll be enlightened and happier, and you'll think clearly. You realize that. The nuances and petty things in life mean absolutely nothing versus, you know, the big picture. And the big picture is, you know, life is short and the time you spend on this earth should be spent positively. Positively, happy. With the least amount of stress as possible. And for some people, it seems so. like. crazy. Like, you know, to not be stressed, but. Like, why. why be stressed all the time? I don't get it. Like, I don't understand. Like, I always tell people, like. People always go, oh man, this is stressing me out. This person is making me feel like this. No, you're allowing people to stress you out. You're allowing things in your life to stress you out. That's what I say. I say you're in control of your own life. You as an individual are in control of what goes on in your head. I mean, you can't allow people to invade your comfort zone mentally. I realize that I'll be I'll be forsaken if I let somebody anymore invade that. That's why I'm always that guy at work smiling for no reason. Cause you know what? It's all funny to me. It's all it's it's all just 
human for me because guess what? At the end of the day, I come back home and my life continues. You know, I'm not a slave to my job as far as my mental state. I'm a peaceful individual. You guys, anybody who knows me, you know, I'm a peaceful person and I'm a peaceful individual. I've, I just don't understand why people allow themselves to slave themselves. I don't get it. I don't get it. Somebody please explain to me, because I'm not... If you're one of these people, explain it to me. Because guess what? I don't get it. I don't allow people to trust me out anymore. I don't allow things to trust me out anymore because you know what? At the end of the day, life isn't about that. Life is about living. Life is about reaching your goals, achieving your goals you've set for yourself in life. You know, life is about finding the answers and the happiness that has us here. You know, seek happiness. Seek the answers for yourself that will allow you to be happy. Bottom line, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't allow, don't allow people to, 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 to stress you out and take you off your path, man. That's what I say. Don't allow people to control you. Don't allow people to control your mind. It's yours. You take it. You, you, you own it. Take ownership. And, and this applies to people who are in relationships, you're married, you know, you have a significant other. You got different people that you just, you know, just hanging out, sleeping around with. It's all relevant. Don't allow people to, to manipulate you, man. I don't want people to stress you out. I don't care if you've married, you've been married 20 years. Like, and you gotta, you gotta see that person every single day. Like, if you have to, if you can't be with somebody who's going to alleviate stress out of your life, it's time for you to find somebody else. And you know what? It doesn't take, it doesn't take five years, it doesn't take 20 years, it doesn't take 10 years to figure that out. I'm sorry, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. Not nowadays. Like, I know somebody two years. I know whether, I know, I can know their level. And I'm not going to tell you it takes two months. No, it takes a while. It's, it's going to take, you know, a decent amount of time, you know, to find that out. It's not going to be instant, but it's not going to take forever. I would say it would take a solid year to really find out if somebody <laughs> is stressing you out to a point that you just don't have tolerance for. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about annoyance. Annoyances I'm not talking about. Annoyances are every day. People do things to annoy people every day. Whether or not you know that person, you don't know that person, you love that person, you don't love that person, they're a family member, whatever the case may be. Annoyances take place on a daily basis. At times, that's unavoidable. But as far as irritant, stress, stress, you can't let somebody stress you out. You've been around somebody six months, eight months, ten months, and they're stressing you out. That is not the right person for you. Hello, ding. <laughs> if you can't call that person up and talk to them and say and be like, oh man, my day's crazy, whatever, whatever, <clears throat> and feel better when the conversation is over, <laughs> you're making you're making the wrong, you're making bad decisions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I'm sorry if you don't agree with me. I'm sorry if you don't agree with that. But guess what? That's a fact. In my world, that's a fact. You may disagree with that. I mean, you're entitled. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But in my world, that's a fact. I'm sorry. 
I can't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tolerate the company of somebody that stresses me out. I'm not gonna tolerate the company of somebody that when I speak to them, they can't make me feel better. You know what I'm saying? Like if I, I need to talk to somebody and get lost. Like, wow, where did that hour go? Like, all right, cool, you made me feel better, thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I can't get that from you, why are you even around? saying that's how I feel about it and I'm not saying I'm not pushing anything on no, on anybody I'm just saying that if you can if you honestly think that somebody stressing you out on a regular basis is healthy for you Godspeed to you because I think that's ridiculous I'm sorry stress is one of the worst things ever in this life it can kill you. Stress and cigarettes are probably two, the two worst things you could possibly do to yourself, <laughs> like mentally and physically. And then stress not only mentally damages you, but it takes its physical toll. And some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Stress can kill you. Period. Like I don't get it. I don't understand why you guys, why people continue to surround themselves with stress around stressful people, things that stress them out, people, situations, like, and granted, I know, like I said, it's about how much you allow people to stress you out, but at the same time, if you have to be around somebody constantly, 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 and they're constantly, constantly doing things for you to have to fight off being stressed, they gotta go. Time for them to hit the bricks, you know? They gotta go, deuces, you know? Like, Think about that, man. Just think about that. Think about the people that you surround yourself with. I tell you what, here's what you do. Get yourself a notebook or a pad or pen or and a pad or pen, piece of paper, whatever, crayon, I don't care, marker. And make a list. Make a list of the people that you frequently interact with in your life. Not necessarily on a daily basis, kind of understand. You know, I have a best friend I've known all my life, 28 years, you know, 28 years, wow. I've known him as long as I, my memory will take me back, you know what I'm saying? And I don't speak to him every day. I don't have to speak to him and, and, and we don't have to converse every day, but we can pick up a week later and we can talk like we just finished talking yesterday. That's how you know you, that's how you know that person is a real friend. That's how you can tell the difference between true friends or not, you know what I'm saying? If I don't talk to you for a week and then we pick up a conversation and start talking like we were just talking two hours ago, yeah, that's how you know. But make a list of these people. Make a list of these people that you frequently interact with. And next to each person's name, write a number. On a number, on a level of one to ten, think about it hard. Talk to that person for a while if you have to, but next to their name, on a scale of 1 to 10, write down how much they stress you out. And really think about that. Don't just like, oh man, you said some dumb, you said some, some dumb stuff today, like 10, <laughs> you know. Now, nah, be serious about it. Write it down. I promise you, you look at some of those people a little bit differently. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> Most people don't need to be around you. Make a stress column, and then next to the stress column, make a laugh column. So chart it. Person's names on the left, and across the top, two columns. Stress column, laughter column. Scale it, one to ten. Laugh column, how, freak, how often you interact with that person you know, during that time you interact with them, how often they can make you laugh, or they make you laugh. Especially when you're not necessarily in a good mental state. Laughter is the key. If stress is the lock, laughter is the key. Remember that. And that's it. Do that. Try it out. See how that works out for you. But I think I rammed long enough. And I'll let you guys get to it. Everybody enjoy your day. Enjoy your night. 
enjoy, you know, your time, with yourself, with the people around you. And remember, the Lord loves you and will lead you where you want to go. Just trust. Trust is all you need. Catch you guys later.